This story takes place on the frontiers of technology, but it begins in one of the world's oldest cities. Jerusalem. It was the worst case yet. Somebody tried to threaten the country's education, business, maybe even its military intelligence. They planned to wipe out the computer banks at Hebrew University, the nation's largest school, using nothing more than a virus. The Hebrew University virus spread into the Mossad, which is Israel's version of our secret service. It then spread into the United States. What does a virus have to do with computers? Well, this kind of virus is a very brief computer program written to attach or integrate itself into other programs that it finds in the computer circuits. It hides inside them, then does whatever damage its creator wants. Let's say there's a virus hidden somewhere on this floppy disk, which is sort of the magnetic card on which programs are often stored. If I put this disk in the computer, whether I'm writing a book or doing my taxes or just playing a game, I am very much in danger of infecting any other disk I put in that machine. That's because once inside the computer, the virus is designed to reproduce like a real virus. As it searches for programs to infect, it can spread from one disk to another, from one computer to another when people share the programs on their disks. Sometimes the computer virus even mutates, so it's impossible to trace. That killer virus, for example, could delete millions of programs in a matter of weeks. Fred Cohen invented computer viruses as an experiment five years ago, but only last fall did anyone abuse them. Students at Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, found some of their schoolwork disappearing in a flood of gibberish. And consider how much of our society depends on computers. Your bank account, your plane reservations, even your health care. Then you'll understand what's important about the viruses infecting them. Information stored on computers is valuable, and in many cases, it is used to make life and death decisions. An East Coast hospital lost 40% of its patient records. A Seattle software company found it was selling a program with a virus already on it. A member of a German computer club is being prosecuted for planting a virus in this NASA computer outside Washington. It's a very serious situation, and uh, it is, uh, in some cases, if uh, done under certain circumstances could be in fact espionage. Engineers say a virus probably can't get into military computers or air traffic control systems or banks, but there's enough concern going around that people are going to need a lot of reassurance and there's no saying what those unseen virus writers might do next. It's kind of scary to me that these people are so bright to come up with this stuff but so stupid not to consider what might happen if it if it gets out there. Business is booming for antivirus computer programs like Data Physician, Flu Shot, and Viral Alarm. But none of these programs can do it all. The bugs in Jerusalem and at Lehigh seem to have been cured, but nobody's entirely sure.